But first, we are learning new details about the Osceola County Sheriff's body camera policy after deputies opened fire on shoplifting suspects at Target. Revealing moments were missed because deputies were not wearing body cams. So glad you're with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Matt Austin. News 6 is Jerry Askin takes a closer look at the policy and what it has to say about situations like these. This video surveillance from Target gives a clearer picture of what happened leading up to deputies shooting and killing 20-year-old Jaden Baez last month. But it doesn't show everything, including the moments shots were fired. In many cases, where deputies open fire, that moment is captured on a body camera video and later released to the public. But in this case, we may never see it. Here is what Sheriff Marcos Lopez told me on Monday. Was there any body camera video before or after the shooting? They were wearing tactical gear. They were in a training. Most of the body camera that our deputies are equipped with is in uh, patrolmen. But why weren't they wearing those body cameras, though? They're tactical uh, detectives. They don't have body camera. Tuesday evening, nearly a week after requesting Osceola's body camera policy, the sheriff's office released this policy, which took effect in December of 2019. The nine-page policy does not explicitly say tactical deputies are not equipped with body cameras. But it does say in part is that deputies who are equipped and trained shall make sure it's on and recording during the following circumstances involving citizen interaction, including the stopping and arresting of a suspect when they observe suspicious behavior and decide to initiate a motor vehicle stop. The sheriff has said his deputies initiated the takedown at Target after observing suspicious behavior, including this vehicle backed into a handicapped spot. They later arrested two men in that car, Joseph Lowe and Michael Gomez, with petty theft after they say they were seen taking Pokemon cards and pizza from the store. But again, the sheriff said the initial deputies did not have body cameras because they were wearing tactical gear. Your tactical deputies, do they wear body cameras? They wear body cameras when they are performing the patrol function. Volusia Sheriff Mike Chitwood can't speak for this investigation at Target or for the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, though he told me while his deputies are not required to wear body cams for every training, that changes when they respond to a call. This this is happens more than you would think. The, the SWAT has designated training days. If, there, if there's a call out for a barricaded person, they now have to transition, so their, their body cameras and all their tactical equipment would go out to the scene. Today we asked the Osceola County Sheriff's Office why its policy does not say which departments are assigned body cameras and why body cameras aren't worn during training. The FDLE is investigating the shooting aspect of this case. In the newsroom, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.